Well, the stage is set. The bands are ready. The performers primed. The balloons being inflated as we speak. We are hours away now from the 6 ABC Duncan Thanksgiving Day Parade. That beloved Philadelphia tradition set to step off once again. Action News reporter Annie McCormick joining us live on Eakins Oval tonight. Annie, our team is hugely excited and for good reason. Absolutely good reason. It's our 104th Thanksgiving Day Parade. This is a 6 ABC Duncan Thanksgiving Day Parade. We pretty much know what we're doing at this point since we've been doing this parade for so many years. Well, Brian, right now the final rehearsals are happening. Those rehearsals actually go till about 10 o'clock tonight, and then a number of those performers will be back out here in the morning to do performances before the parade that starts with a pre-performance at 8:30 and then 9 o'clock. But take a look behind me. I have the team here from KMC, these dancers from Chester County. They're about to be doing one of their rehearsals for today. And what are you what are you guys doing? What is your parade float? Oh, the Winter Wonderland Parade Floats. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Give us a big wave, a big wave. There's so much here too, Brian. Take a look at the parkway right now. You can see these are all the people that are doing the behind the scenes here to make this an absolutely amazing experience. There's all the bright colors, the flags. There's so much going on. And there's also, Brian, of course, a number of performers. Well, we caught up with the executive producer of the parade, one of our favorite people at 6 ABC, John Morris. He gave us a list of some things we can watch. We've got some great classic acts. The Commodores are going to be here. They're going to do a five minute performance, which is a lot longer than what we usually get from a musical group because they have so many great hits. Uh, Village people will be performing a couple of times. Another thing that I think is going to be fun is Alicia Vitarelli is going to be riding on a float from start to finish. So we're going to be able to see the parade route the entire way. That's not something we've done. And so many members of the Action News team as well, Rick and Cecily, and of course, John mentioned Alicia also. And also, we're going to be having some 6 ABC alumni as well. I'm really excited to see Dan Quayer, also Kathy Gandolfo, and Nora Mushanik as well. But behind me, when you're going to be watching the parade at home tomorrow, this is the area where they will be doing the performances. This is where the floats stop. The dances happen, and if you don't want to come out, even though the weather sounds like it's going to be great, you can watch it all from your couch. For now, reporting live on the Parkway, Annie McCormick, Channel 6, Action News. Brian. It's going to be so much fun, Annie. Thank you. Hey, Annie, look up for a second. I want to give you the bird's eye view here of the situation from above. Oh, there it is. Chopper 6 is over now. Chopper 6 now. HD. <laughs> live over the scene, Aikens Oval, of course, the Art Museum steps where Santa will make his highly anticipated appearance at noon tomorrow. There it is, Andy. Give us a wave. We're looking at all of you from sky high. It's going to be a lot of fun tomorrow morning. So join hosts Rick Williams and Cecily Tynan, along with Alicia Vitarelli, Adam Joseph, and Karen Rogers for the 6 ABC Duncan Thanksgiving Day Parade. The fun begins at 8:30 right here on 6 ABC.